Chef Shakespeare battle roses now in progress here in Kitchen Stadium. And let me tell you, this fight is getting pretty thorny as we head into the last few minutes of the battle. Uh, catch me up on the action, Kevin. Absolutely, Alton. Challenger Chef Henry Tudor has so far completed three of his five dishes, uh, just now plating the last part of what is either his opener or his dessert course, the uh, peach rose smoothie. Iron Chef Richard Plantagenet, in the meantime, has only completed two of his dishes. Uh, there seems to be a problem with his rack of kid. Stanley, bring your power before sun rising, lest he fall into the blind cave of eternal night. Mighty liege, therefore mistrust me not. Look, your faith be firm, or else his head's assurance is but frail. So deal with him as I prove true to you. There's the Iron Chef having a bit of an argument with his sous chef. It's uh, been a harder season for Richard's sous chefs. He's gone through several since becoming an Iron Chef, and he's uh, tended to be more and more short-tempered with them since losing his first sous chef, Buckingham, in uh, Battle Hereford State. And it looks like Stanley is leaving the kitchen. So here we are, uh, ten minutes left in Battle Roses, and the Iron Chef is down to one sous chef and still three dishes left to plate. It doesn't look good for the Iron Chef, Alton, especially so uh, late in the battle. Over in the uh, Challenger's kitchen, we see Chef Tudor putting some finishing touches on the dishes he already has down, while sous chef Darby puts the last uh, touches on that crown-shaped pie crust that I think that will be filled with the blood orange and Queen Elizabeth rose petal mixture. Now he's uh, brushing the crust with egg yolks before it goes under the uh, salamander. Well, while we've got a minute, I'd like to talk a bit about today's uh, secret ingredient. Roses are no strangers to the dinner table, although uh, usually you see them as centerpieces rather than the main uh, course. Now, the thing everyone knows about roses, apart from their uh, thorniness, is how fragrant uh, they are, and in fact they are often used as a source for perfume. The rose product most uh, commonly uh, used in the kitchen is rose water, or water that's been uh, infused with rose petals, kind of like a weak iced tea, which is used in uh, Turkish delight, and is also often used to flavor dairy dishes, and it can also be made into uh, syrup. Rose petals and hips can be used as uh, aromatic spices, and the hips can be used to make an excellent jam. Heraldically uh, speaking, of course, uh, the white rose is the symbol of the uh, Iron Chef's family, the House of York, while Chef Tudor is a member of the uh, House of Lancaster, represented by the Red Rose, which makes this battle especially appropriate. And now, uh, back to the action. Kevin, catch me up. Certainly, Alton. Chef Tudor's crust is uh, nicely browned, and he's putting down some uh, peach slices next to that smoothie, and adding some sharp red Leicester cheese to the sliced blood pudding. Back over on the Iron Chef's side, we see some strong red uh, wine going into the cocktail shaker, along with uh, tomato juice, Tabasco sauce, and rose water. So I think we're looking at what I'm going to call a uh, Bloody Richard. A bit of an uh, anachronism there from the Iron Chef, since it's only 1485. Perjury. Perjury in the highest degree. Whatever you say, Iron Chef. Uh, Alton, over on the Challenger side, we see Chef Tudor finishing off that uh, blood orange crown tort. That's going down with a bit of sweet ricotta and being topped with that gelatin mixture. And that's now going into the blast chiller. Five minutes to go. Chef Tudor almost done with his five dishes, uh, Iron Chef Plantagenet still with two to go. Let's go up and talk to our uh, judges for a moment. And of course we didn't mention, but one of the panel here, George Plantagenet, is actually the Iron Chef's brother, who was of course an Iron Chef himself until his unfortunate accident with uh, a uh, metal skewer and the immersion circulator. How do you do? Uh, how do you think uh, Richard's doing as far as, so far as Iron Chef? When that our princely father York charged us from his soul to love each other, he little thought of this divided friendship. Let it sit heavy on Richard's soul, I that was washed to death with fulsome wine, poor Clarence by his guile betrayed. Not good, huh? Well, let's move down to you, Lord Hastings. Uh, have you any words for the Iron Chef? Bloody and guilty, guiltily awake, and in a bloody battle end thy days. Well, that's, uh, cheerful. Moving on to Lady Anne. Now, uh, you are, uh, the Iron Chef's ex-wife. I, uh, hope there's no hard feelings that will intrude on the judging. Richard, thy wife, that wretched Anne, thy wife, that never slept a quiet hour with thee. In the battle, think on me, and fall thy edgeless sword. Despair, and die! Not very, uh, encouraging to the Iron Chef. Any words for the challenger? Dream of success and happy victory. Thy adversary's wife doth pray for thee. Thank you. Well, it, uh, seems the panel is a little bit predisposed against the Iron Chef here. Uh, looks like he'll have to work a bit harder to impress them. 
There is no creature loves me. Nay, wherefore should they, since I myself find in myself no pity to myself? Now, Chef, all the clouds that lowered on your kitchen are supposed to be in the deep bosom of the refrigerator buried. Kevin, I've been gone. What's uh, going on on the floor? Alton, the crown tort has come out of the blast chiller, and the challenger is now arranging some uh, rose petals on top of it. I see he's got some uh, red rose petals down in a circle, and he's layering the white rose petals in the middle, uh, building a new flower. Uh, not a Lancaster rose or a York rose, but a uh, Tudor rose. On the Iron Chef's side, sous chef Tyrrell has chopped that rack of kid into cubes and is now poaching them in pig's blood. That'll probably go into the uh, pie crust he's got set aside. Well, we've got a ba battle royale going here, so uh, since it's kid, perhaps we should call it uh, uh, Mince of Prince. Haha. <laughs> No? Well, never mind. Pay no attention to the man behind the podium, the action's out there in the kitchen. Over on the uh, challenger side, we see a fifth dish almost ready for a plating. A whole uh, roasted boar's head just getting some basting from sous chef Margaret. The boar is, uh, of course, uh, one of Iron Chef Plantagenet's signature dishes, so it's a real mark of the challenger's confidence that he thinks he can beat the Iron Chef with his own uh, ingredients. A horse! A horse! My kingdom for a horse! Okay, we've uh, got the Iron Chef calling for horse, uh, an unusual ingredient here in Kitchen Stadium. Uh, a bit late in the battle, possibly, to be starting that sort of heavy uh, protein, so uh, we'll have to see uh, how w that one turns out. Three minutes to go. Three minutes left in Battle Rose, and the Challenger has four dishes plated and one nearly finished. Meanwhile, the Iron Chef is struggling with his fourth uh, dish, and the fifth scarcely started. We can see the chairman starting to uh, pace the back there, a sure sign that this battle has started winding down. The challenger can afford to uh, slow down a bit and take a rest, but Iron Chef Plantagenet will have to hustle. He's been a little slow all uh, through the last quarter of the battle, as if weighed down with the specter of ruin, shame, and death. My conscience hath a thousand several tongues, and every tongue brings in a several tale, and every tale condemns me for a villain. Now he's sending Tyrrell to the pantry for tongue, uh, no idea what that's going to go with. Come, bustle, bustle, caparison my horse. The Iron Chef has some, uh, crab apple chips, rose hips, and rose stems in a pan on the stove. It looks like he's going to smoke that horse meat. He'd, uh, better get a move on. Inspire us with the spleen of fiery dragons. And we've got fire over on the Iron Chef side. Ho ho, that's hot. Is that intentional? Now let's see that again. Well, now they've got that under control. Uh, who knows what effect it'll have on the smoked, uh, smoked horse. One minute to go. One minute left. Uh, Chef Tudor is putting the last uh, finishing touches on his whole boar's head. Iron Chef Plantagenet is giving that uh, still raw horse some rose and crab apple smoke. Uh, a real uh, risky move there from the Iron Chef. Slave, I have set my life upon a cast, and I will stand the hazard of the die. And they're all finished on the challenger side. We've got the uh, rose and peach smoothie, the blood pudding with red luster and stuffed vine leaves, the whole hog's head poached in rose water, the uh, blood orange and rose petal tort, and the sunfruit fr rose divinity. And uh, over on the Iron Chef's kitchen, that smoked horse uh, steak tartare is now being plated with rose hips. We've got that bloody Richard cocktail now being finished with the uh, celery and white rose petals, the sausages with the lamb entrails, tongue and rose hips, the uh, mince of prince lamb pie, the wintergreen and rose ice cream has just come out of the blast Ten chiller. Seconds five to dishes go. for the Iron Chef, five, five for the challenger, coming four, down to the end of the battle. Last three, finishing touches being laid in two, by the Iron Chef. One. Put it down, walk away, Battle Rose is over! Chef Tudor, you seemed, uh, pretty laid back out there. Was it as simple as it looked? God and our good cause fight upon our side. The prayers of holy saints and wronged souls, like high-reared bulwarks, stand before our faces. For what is he they follow? Truly, gentlemen, one raised in blood, and one in blood established, one that made means to make come by what he hath, and slaughter those that were the means to help him, one that hath ever been God's enemy. Then, if you fight against God's enemy, God will in justice ward you as his soldiers. So, you're pretty confident then? Sound drums and trumpets boldly and cheerfully. All right, over to Iron Chef Plantagenet. Iron Chef, you seem to be struggling a bit out there. Are you worried about what the judges will say? What shall I say more than I have inferred? Remember whom we are to cope with all. A sort of vagabonds, rascals, and base lackey peasants. And who doth lead them but a paltry fellow, a milksop, one that never in his life felt so much cold as over shoes in snow. If we be conquered, let men conquer us. Strong words from the Iron Chef. Alton, England hath long been mad and scarred herself. 
The brother blindly shed the brother's blood. The father rashly slaughtered his own son. The son compelled, been butchered to the sire. Or at least that's what it seemed like here at Kitchen Stadium. Abate the edge of traitors that would reduce these bloody days again, and make poor England weep in streams of blood. Let them not live to taste this land's increase that would with treason wound this fair land's peace. Coming up next, Judgment, when Iron Chef Shakespeare returns. Pale ashes, creeping venom, if thou delight to view thy heinous deeds, behold this pattern of thy butcheries. There's too much wintergreen of our discontent in this dish, and not enough glorious summer. 